Hey you mob, welcome to Deadly Kindies. My name is Kim, I'm from the Deadly Kindies team and we're here today with one of our Deadly Choice ambassadors reading one of our Deadly books. I'm Talisha Harden, Deadly Choices Ambassador and IUE Speech Pathologist and today we're reading a book called Backyard Bugs by Helen Milroy. Before we start reading our book we would like to engage in an acknowledgement to country. Here is the land and here is the sky, here are my friends and here am I. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners on the lands of which we play, discover and learn. Awesome. Thanks for that, Sis. Uh, so yeah, like we said, our book today is Backyard Bugs by Helen Milroy. And book reading is probably one of my favourite, favourite things to do uh, with our jardrums, with our young ones. Uh, it builds so much vocabulary, um, creates ideas, creates lots of discussion around um, animals and stories and things like that. So yeah, we probably really encourage uh, book reading at home um, when you can and, and if you're able to. It's one of the, yeah, one of the most beautiful ways to promote language. My little one likes to read before bed. Oh, that's a good time to read. Yeah, before bed's always a fun one. Settling good way in. Settling, yes. Yeah, part of the, the nighttime routine. Uh, so this one's Backyard Bugs. I watch an ant march up the tree. While dragonfly flits close to me. The earthworm wriggles in the sand as beetle trips across the land. A cricket chirps his happy song and honeybee buzz, buzz, buzzes along. Caterpillar turns into butterfly while spider hangs against the sky. Snail and slug slip slide on leaves. Then ladybird lands upon my sleeve. In my backyard, there's lots to see. I love the bugs that live near me. The end. Thank you so much for reading that book with us. Now, how important is it to have a book in your home that you can relate to, to your environment, like when you go to the park or in your own backyard? Yeah, I think it's it's massive, um, especially when creating um, ideas and discussions and vocabulary for our young ones to, to learn and to talk about. Um, and then you can relate things. You can relate your books to actual real experiences that you're having outside the house, that you're having, um, you know, in playtime and things like that as well. And you can turn books into you know, further activities. You can do cooking out of books. You can do craft activities out of books. Um, you know, you can create puppet shows out of books and make your own stories. So yeah, there's so much room for imagination, so much room for, for expanding on the ideas in the book even further to create language, to create language opportunities. Um, so yeah, when, when kids, you know, transition into that school environment or into a kindy environment, um, you know, they're already so comfortable with books. That's deadly. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for joining us at home. See you later.